Good Friday. What is Good Friday? And what does it mean to Christians? Good Friday is observed on the Friday before Easter Sunday. On this day, Christians commemorate the passion or suffering and death on the cross of Jesus Christ. Many Christians spend Good Friday in fasting, prayer, repentance and meditation on the agony and suffering of Christ. On Good Friday, Christians focus on the day of Jesus Christ's death. The night before he died, Jesus and his disciples took part in the Last Supper and then went to the Garden of Gethsemane. In the garden, Jesus spent his last hours of freedom praying to the Father while his disciples slept nearby. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. This cup or death by crucifixion was not only one of the most disgraceful forms of death, but also one of the most dreaded and painful methods of execution in the ancient world. But this cup represented something even worse than crucifixion. Christ knew in death he would take on the sins of the world. Even the most heinous crimes ever committed to set believers free from sin and death. This was the agony our Lord faced and humbly submitted to for you and me. He prayed more fervently and he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. Before morning dawn, Jesus was arrested. At daybreak, he was questioned by the Sanhedrin and condemned. But before they could put him to death, the religious leaders first needed Rome to approve of his death sentence. Jesus was taken to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor in Judea. Pilate found no reason to charge Jesus. When he discovered that Jesus was from Galilee, which was under Herod's jurisdiction, Pilate had Jesus sent to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at the time. Jesus refused to answer Herod's questions. So Herod sent him back to Pilate. Although Pilate found him innocent, he feared the crowds who wanted Jesus crucified, so he sentenced Jesus to death. Jesus was brutally beaten, mocked, struck on the head with a staff and spit on. A crown of thorns was plied on his head and he was stripped naked. He was made to carry his own cross but when he grew too weak, Simon of Serin was forced to carry it for him. Jesus was led to Calvary and where soldiers drove stake-like nails through his wrists and ankles, 
fixing him to the cross an inscription was placed over his head that read the king of the jews jesus had on the cross for approximately 6 hours until he took his final breath while he was on the cross soldiers cast lots for jesus clothing on lookers shouted insults and jeered at him two criminals were crucified at the same time one hang on jesus right and the other on his left one of the criminals hanging beside him scoffed so you are the messiah are you prove it by saving yourself and as to while you are at it but the other criminal protested don't you fear god even when you have been sentenced to die we deserve to die for our crimes but this man hasn't done anything wrong then he said jesus remember me when you come into your kingdom and jesus replied i assure you today you will be with me in paradise at one point jesus cried out to his father my god my god why have you forsaken me then darkness blanketed the land and jesus gave up his spirit an earthquake shook the ground and caused the temple curtain to rip in half from top to bottom it was customary for roman soldiers to break the criminals legs causing death to come more quickly but only the thieves had had their legs broken when the soldiers came to jesus he was already dead as evening fell joseph of arimathea and nicodemus took jesus body down from the cross and had him placed in his own new tomb a great stone was rolled over the entrance sealing the tomb why is good friday good god is holy and his holiness is in- incompatible with sin humans are sinful and our sin separates us from god the punishment for sin is eternal death but human death and animal sacrifices are insufficient to atone for sin atonement requires a perfect spotless sacrifice offered in just the right way jesus christ was the one and only perfect god man his death provided the perfect atoning sacrifice for sin only through him can our sins be forgiven when we accept jesus christ's payment for sin he washes away our sin and restores our right standing with god god's mercy and grace make salvation possible and we receive the gift of eternal life through jesus christ and so good friday is good